out with Lee, there he is behind me. Um, we're in Essex today, We've got loads of land to go at, 200 acres, um, all being deep cultivated. So hopefully we're gonna find something good. Uh, Lee found a couple of hammers here last time he was here. We only had like seven acres last time, that was the only part that had been done. But now we've got 200 acres. He had, I think he found, what was it, two hammers and one Roman, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I didn't find much that day, but Lee was the star of the show that day. Uh, hopefully this time we'll find some more decent stuff. So, see you on the first decent target. Alright, that's the first target guys. I think it's just a little piece of bronze. Could possibly have a little bit of detail on there. But, no, I don't know. Can't see much. Alright, on to the next one. Alright guys, got one here. It's not a bad signal. Could be a bit of coke though, there's a lot of coke on this field, so hopefully. Yeah, just a little piece of junk. Um, yeah, not much. Oh well, on to the next. Alright, here's the next one guys. Just a little bit of lead. Um, yeah, just a nice little bit of lead. Alright, see you in the next one. Alright guys, got the next one. Uh, just flicked it out of the hole. It's in there somewhere. Just get the pinpoint right. Alright, There it is. And it's just another little, don't know, little piece of bronze or something. I think nothing very interesting. Oh well, keep going. See you now. Right, guys, just flick the next one out. Didn't sound that good when it was in the hole, but it sounds nice now it's out. And actually, I think I can see it. What's that? Is that a button? Oh, actually, I don't know what that is. One second. It's different, whatever it is. Um, I don't know, that's different. Yeah, I don't know what that is, guys. It's, I don't know if it's some sort of button or... I don't know, it hasn't... Not, that's a big bloody shank if it is a button, but it's not a button, it's too big. Um, yeah, I don't know, I haven't got a clue. It's interesting though. Anybody knows, put it in the comments for me, so I haven't got a clue. But, yeah, I don't know. I'll try and find out later on. If I do, I'll put it on after this. Alright, see you the next one. Alright guys, got another one here. It sounds like it's almost on the surface, to be honest. So we'll have a little go with a pinpointer, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of lead. Yeah, just a little bit of lead. All right, moving on. Guys, just popped this one out the hole, started to pinpoint it, and it looked very interesting when I saw it. I'm hoping, 
Oh, what is that? Oh, no, that's not what I thought it was. I thought it was a brooch at first. I think it's part of a buckle, actually. I got a bit excited. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's, it's a piece of a buckle or something, maybe. I don't know, though. It looks... It's quite interesting. It's nice, whatever it is. It's got like a little hole that goes through there. Yeah, it could be a buckle of some sort. Oh well, it's pretty cool though. Right, on to the right, guys, this one's a really nice high high pitch tone. And it breaks up a little bit but doesn't sound too bad. I'll give it a dig. sound is my spade picking up next to it but I'll just take out another load. I'm still in the actually getting better now actually now I'm taking some of the soil out. There might be something decent. It's out the hole guys. And I think it is just a big piece of lead actually. No, it's not even lead, it's a bit of crap. Oh anyway, well, on to the next. Right, there's the next one guys. It's still part of a crotal bell. It would have been quite a nice one as well. There you go. Looks a nice detail on there. That would have been a really nice one. Oh well. That's pretty cool though. Lovely. Right, see you on the next one. Right, there's the next one guys. Little bag seal. Nice little lead bag seal. Got some writing on there. And a little picture on that side. Probably for, I don't know, wheat or something. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'll see you on the next one guys. Alright, here we go guys. I might have my first coin. I could be wrong, it might be a button. Lee's a bit pissed off because I was walking towards him and I was going in the path he was going, but never mind. <laughs> right, let's see what this is, if the camera focuses. I'll actually get my camera to focus now, one second. It is... Oh, what is that? I think that is a coin, but I can't tell what it is. Wait a minute. Just trying to get for some reason my camera's not bloody focusing. There we go. Um I don't know what that is. It looks like a Roman but it hasn't really got much detail on it. There's something something on that side but I can't tell what it is for getting the sunlight. Um no, I don't know. I'm going to go with Roman for now, but I don't know, I can't get anything else off it, but I don't think it's definitely something. Oh well, first coin of the day though, I think. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Hi right, guys, this is the next one. This is a little lead pot mend. Yeah, you can see where it's being pushed into the hole in a pot. In a pot. That's pretty cool. So definitely some activity around here. If I saw that coin, which I reckon is a Roman coin of some sort, we've got a little pot mend. So hopefully I'm on the right track now. Get some good stuff. All right, see you on the next one. All right, guys, got another little bag seal. It's basically the same as one I had a minute ago, I think. <clears throat> 
Um, yeah, almost the same. Put some writing on there. Late something something. Um, a little picture on the back. That's a different picture actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like those little bag seals. Alright, on to next. Here we go guys. Look what Lee's just got. This is his lucky field by looks of it. He got two hammers when we was here last time. He's just got this one as well. I can't actually make out who it is yet. Um no, I can't tell. Actually yeah I can. Yeah, it's Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth the first. There you go. Obviously it wouldn't be Elizabeth the <laughs> second. But um yeah. Well done Lee. First hammer of the day. We've still got about I don't know a good six or so hours to go, so hopefully we'll find some more. Lovely, look at that. See Elizabeth. Alright, on to the next one guys. Alright guys, on to the next one. As you can see my pinpointing was crap because I thought it was in the middle here and it turns out it's right there. I don't know if you can actually see that. Could be a button. Actually, yeah, I think it is a bloody button. Yep, it's a bloody button. I got excited then, so I've just seen Lee find that hammered. I thought maybe I got one as well, but not yet. Definitely more to come there, guys. Right, I'll see you on the next one. Right, guys, we could have another coin or a button. Or another actual, <laughs> yeah, actually. No, it's not either. It's another bloody bag seal. <laughs> it's going to be a bag seal day by the looks of it. You get it in the sunlight, yeah, I think it's another same one. Yep, yeah, another bag seal. That's not what I want. I want a hammered now. Alright, I'll see you on the next one. Alright guys, I just saw this one pop out as I flicked the hole out. I think it's another full crotal bill. Oh, it looked kind of full as it came out the hole. Yeah, it is as well. <laughs> oh, brilliant. It's the second one in about a week, I think. Was it last week I did? I can't remember now. Yeah, it's another full one. Might have some detail on there as well. It's pretty cool. It's going to be a good day today. I think we're going to have loads of finds. That's nice, that is. Alright, cool. Oh, it might be a little bit broken there, actually. The P might have come out through there. Uh, yeah, it might not be a ringer. So, we'll see. Once I get it cleaned up, it could still be a ringer. But it's got some nice detail on it though, and it's only got a slight piece of damage there, so I'm happy with that. Alright, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Another little bit of a crotal wheel, guys. Got loads of them today, it's a third peak. Well, one whole one and two bits so far. There's some nice detail on that one as well by the looks of it. Quite nice. Alright, on to the next one. Alright guys, look at this. Lee's just got another one. He's having a lucky day today. This is definitely his field of dreams. Look at that, another little Lizzie. You can see the head there just about. It's a bit worn, but it's pretty good detail though. It's hardly clipped at all really. It's really nice. Well done Lee. Alright, go and find some more. See you later. guys, got the first target I've had for a while. Um, yeah, it's been really quiet. Lee's found another hammer, but I haven't found much to be honest. Oh, sorry, wait a minute. Yeah, so there's a signal in there. Just try and dig it out gently. It's a little buckle. Shut up. Um, yeah, got a little buckle there. Not a very old one, probably like a little shoe buckle or something. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, see you in the next one. Right, guys, next one is there. In the clod, as you get in the sunlight, there you go. Not sure if it's a button, could well be. Oh no, it's not even round actually. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit of tat, I think. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that's anything interesting. Right, on to the next. Right, next one, guys, is that. Big bloody bullet. I don't actually know what sort of bullet that is. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. Um, yeah, it's been really quiet for the last half hour or so. Heading back towards the car to have a bit of lunch. So hopefully we'll find something good soon. Alright, see you on the next one. Alright, there's the next one guys. Little musket ball. Quite a small one. Probably like a pistol shot or something. Um, yeah, it's got a little bit of an indentation there. 
yeah it's pretty cool right on to the next one there's the next one guys <clears throat> um yeah i'm not sure what it is dude to be honest it's got a little thing on the back so it could be like a button possibly or a little badge or something i'm not sure but yeah that's what it is right on to the next we've got a good signal here guys do a little live dig Out around it. And another bag seal. Getting quite a lot of these today. I think Lee's had a couple as well. Right. Right, on to the next. next one, guys. I thought it was like a spoon at first, or a spoon end, but I'm actually not sure what it is, to be honest. It's like that, that side, but in the middle of the, the other side, it's got like a little. No, I don't know what it is, to be honest. I don't know. Any ideas? Stick it in the comments. No, I don't know. Could be quite old. Yeah. I don't know. Right, moving on. Maybe that one was part of a spoon because I just found this bit right next to it. So, just had that weird thing in the middle of it. But, I don't know. Maybe it seems a bit of a coincidence that I found that right next to it. So, anyway, moving on. Hi right, guys, looks like I've got a big, big green coin there. Probably a big penny of some sort. Um, yeah, a little George, or a little, a big George, George V, uh, what's that, 1915 I think, is that 1915, yeah 1915, yeah not bad condition, it's nice to actually get a coin, I had a coin for ages, Cool, right, see you on the next one. Alright well, guys, got another big green one there. Could be another little penny or something. Well, actually, no, I don't even think it's a coin, actually. Uh, wait a minute, let's have a look. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's a big button. Uh, yeah, just a little button. Silver one as well, would have been silver. Uh, nothing like it. No, oh well. On to the next. There you go, guys. This next one. Um, uh, I'm not sure what it is, but it definitely looks like it's got some age to it. I don't know if it's just part of a buckle or something, but it's quite, it's quite old. It's got that sort of, I don't know, Saxon Roman sort of look to it, that green patina. But I could be wrong. You never know. Anyway, right. I'll see you on the next one. And we've got another bag seal, guys. What's that? That's a fifth, I think, is it? I can't remember now. There's loads of them. Yeah, put a little picture on that side and right in on that side. Same as the others. Right, on to the next. So I just thought I'd just take a minute to say thank you to Grim Bleeper for the sticker. And thank you to Simon Weber from um, Stop Wishing Go Dig In on Facebook for that sticker as well. And I might just give out a shout out to the discriminators as well while I'm here. So shout out to all of you. Thanks for the stickers. If you haven't already, check out Grim Bleeper on YouTube and Facebook. Check out Stop Wishing, Go Digging, the group on Facebook, and they've got a website as well. Check them out. Get loads of help with fines and stuff. And obviously check out Discriminator, Chris. There you go. Cheers, guys. See you later. Hi, right, guys. That's the end. I'm knackered. I think Lee's knackered as well. 
We've both just done seven hours of walking on this like really rough cultivated ground. Feet are just aching. It's been a bit mental. Um, I've done it three days in a row now. So I've done seven hours the other day. Well, I've done three, yeah, seven hours two days ago and three hours yesterday. And um, seven hours today, yeah, so I'm just knackered. Need to go home, put my feet up, have a beer and just chill out. Um, yeah, but today, yeah, it was good. I've got lots of little party facts. I've got a full Crotobel again. Loads of pieces of Crotobel. Um, what do you call it? Uh, lead bag seals. Lots of little bits and pieces. Not many coin wise. One little Roman coin, one George V penny. It's not too bad though. Um, but Lee stole the show. Two hammers. Um, what do you get? You got two hammers, a couple of thimbles. I'll try and put some pictures up after this if I can, if I remember to take some. Um, yeah, it's been a good day though. Seven hours out in Essex, beautiful sunshine. Yeah, just a really good day. So, um, yep, yeah, I'm going to get off. I'll, um, I'll see you on the next video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.